Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled. As you can see, we are starting a new castle today because the previous one fell apart and the moon people were able to outflank us and destroy us, which is a good thing. We learned a lot. We've made some changes and made some adjustments since then. As you can see, I did not set the 10-day limit. I set it as unlimited so we can experience as much as this game as possible because I think at 10 days, because we were already at 9 days, we weren't going to see all this has to offer, so that is good. The other thing I changed is now we are on this hills map. So let me spin the camera around here and you can kind of see this allows for some different strategy for defending your castle. You can wall off these areas. Uh, enemies obviously can't traverse this portion. They have to go up and around. And a small game side change is that they added this crystal over here. Kind of looks like the Sims crystal a little bit. Let's zoom in on that. That shows you exactly what tile the enemy will be spawning on. So the blue flames are no more, but the crystal says, okay, they're going to spawn here. So you can kind of guess that they're probably going to come this way or come this way to attack the castle. So we have those little changes that have occurred since our last video. All right, so our goal, as always in Be Castled, is to build the best little kingdom or castle, if you will, that we can. So let's go ahead and capture this tile because we are losing some food. So we need to get ourselves the hunter's hut and we're going to plop that right here and we'll spin that a little bit bring it back that way there we go so we can hunt those wild boar additionally we're going to need a house so we can get some more people in our little kingdom and we will build that right there there we go so we should have actually done that in the reverse order so we could uh get more people and then they can come and build that but that is okay uh, down in the comments below, let me know if you've played Be Castled, if you have, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, or if there's any other castle simulation games out there that you enjoy, such as Stronghold, definitely let me know down below. Please don't forget to like this video, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, the Hunter's Hut is complete, but we cannot assign anyone because our friend will have to go back here and build that house so we can spart start to spawn some more people. The next tile I think we'll have to get is this one so we can get the sunstone. Because we're going to need some money here soon. We're losing, what, 35 a minute. But that's fine. And then we can get the stone here. And we really haven't been able to capture any stone piles. I think at the very, very end of the last one we captured it. But we ran out of time and... Obviously, the castle fell apart and everyone died, so we couldn't use any of the stone. My goal is to be able to kind of fortify this top area, or at least on the, the upper part of the hill, so we can have a nice, strong castle with stone walls to protect ourselves. All right, so the house is built, and people are starting to respawn. Let's go ahead and add a hunter. And how much wood we can capture this. Let's um, let's go ahead and capture this so we can get the, the area for the sunstone. We've got two people left. Let's build the archery range right next to the spawn point. So we can go ahead and rotate that a little bit. Uh-oh, are we going to have enough room? There we go, perfect. So we can go ahead and drop that archery range down right there so we can go ahead and start to train some archers. We also have got... Plenty of wood. I'm thinking we put a tower right here because this will kind of help protect these two hills or these two pathways coming up the hill. Uh, and we will have the door face, I guess, that way. All right, so our friend there can go and start to build that for us. Again, that's where the enemy is going to spawn here in about 50 seconds. Ooh, and there's a little green arrow that shows you exactly where it's at. How nice. Archery range is almost built, and it is. Let's go ahead and train up an archer. So the one thing I did notice is that I don't think archers, or soldiers in general, consume food. They consume money, so we have to watch that and make sure we're not losing all of our money, because that's when soldiers start to die, and we lose them. All right, once this tower is built, we will have this other worker come and become another hunter. Almost done there, and it is finished, fantastic. So we will assign him to work there. And now we have our first archer, so let's get him up there and in position 
so he can help out when the enemy shows up. We have 296 wood left. Oh, it is nighttime, so we cannot do any more building. The enemy is spawning in, and I think it looks like it's some axemen? Yeah, some moon axemen are going to be assaulting us, if they can even get close to us between our swordsmen, the archer, and the wolves. They're going to have to fight their way through. I think we should be in pretty good shape. Let's see, they're attacking me. Yep, the wolves are going to go get them. And I would imagine these two or three wolves are going to make very short work of the six axemen. I already see one going down, two going down, three going down. Our archer's helping out a little bit. Kind of hard to see in there. There's like a fog or mist. Oh, that's interesting. So they must come out of the mist. That must be the, the back straight. All right. And we have sur survived the first night, and now it is day two. Let's find where the next crystal... Ooh, that is right next to us, so we will have to be very careful on that. So we can go ahead and bring our axemen over, line them up there. Let's go ahead and train up a... No, let's build a house. Let's go ahead and put down another house, and we're going to put that right... I'm thinking we should probably capture this tile, or maybe this tile. Yeah, let's go ahead and capture this t 120 wood. Um, let's get this one because it has food on it. All right, we're going to capture this, and we can go ahead and stack some of our houses along here. So let's go ahead and grab a house, and we're going to spin this a little bit, and we're going to drop that right, right there. Perfect. All right, so we can build that next house so we can have more people. We are making 30 food a minute, so that is good. Let's grab this archer. We're going to bring him over here as well. I do not like this crystal being right here. I wish we had a little bit more room, especially since it's our second night. Not that the attack's going to be much bigger, but it will be slightly bigger. So we want to ensure we aren't losing any of our troops. Let's go ahead and train up another archer. And we'll probably actually train up. So we've got uh, one, two, three... So let's make sure we get five total. So that should be five archers. And that will give us a nice little... Uh, ooh, we are losing 45 sunstone a minute. Uh, so we will also need to make sure we get our sunstone workshop up and running to ensure we have plenty of money to pay for our soldiers. And let's just spin this so it's facing that way. And we can drop that there as well. Fantastic. And we'll grab these archers. Trying to grab the two that aren't recruited yet or excuse me the two that are done training not the one that's just a recruit all right i think i got him oh they're both going in okay that's fine and that's the three of them so let's bring these over here this gentleman or this uh son person is building the workshop and we will probably assign him because ooh, now we're losing 75 a minute and we do not want to run out of money or our people or our soldiers i should say will start to die. All right, he's going over there to train. I think that's the last of the archers we have set to train. Our Sunstone Workshop is almost done because we need to stop hemorrhaging money and we will assign someone. And let's see, now we're at plus 25. Good. Feel a little bit better. Let's organize these archers in a better line. Get them facing that and they will stand behind the swordsman. Bring this archer over here as well. Click that there. Uh, we've got two, basically three minutes to the next attack. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a tower here. Because um, I think if we tear the tower down, we get all of our resources back, right? Um, 300 wood, and it costs 300 wood to build it, right? Yeah, so I think we go ahead and put the tower down here. Um, ooh, those trees got knocked down. That's fine. Um, just with the understanding that this will probably be torn down and put over here eventually when we expand over that direction. Okay, how are we doing? We got plenty of food. We'll probably put the Fisher's Hut over here when we get the 200 wood we need for that. Our lumberjacks are doing a fantastic job of bringing in ample wood for our little kingdom. We should have this tower well built before nightfall here in about two minutes. So what we'll do is we'll make sure our swordsmen are kind of guarding the door here because usually they like to, the moon people can kind of get around. And once they're in the tower, it's really hard for the archers to, to fight back. And usually all the archers that are on the tower die. So this is almost done. 
95%, 100%, fantastic. So let's get our five archers up there so they can rain arrows down right as these people spawn. We've got the wood we need, so let's put the fisher's hut in the water right there. Fantastic, and that will be another source of food for us. And then we can also go ahead and put down another house once we hit 100 wood so we keep uh, producing people. We need to watch our mood. Our mood is dropping. It's at plus four. But since we have the boars, we can sell their hides in the, oops, I already had that up, the market stall here. That'll give us a little bit of sunstone and a plus one to the mood. Eventually, we want to get a tavern up. Uh, tavern takes two workers, but you get plus 10 mood for each tavern that is built. All right, so we have the fisherman's hut up and going. We'll add one of the workers to that. So I think we have two over here, one fisherman. Yep, so let's go ahead and build another house, except we're still short wood. We need 150 wood. Let's see if we get it. I think we'll have the wood, but I don't think the house will be built before nightfall. 138 wood. Slowpoke McGee here is taking his sweet, sweet time to get, there we go, 160 wood. So let's go ahead and put the house down right here, and we'll spin it around like this, and we will put that house right there. Fantastic. So our friend here will come around and start building that house. We are 13 seconds out from the next tech. So let's get over here and we can see the enemy spawn in here very soon. All right. And there it goes and it drops down and we got some axemen spawning in. Our archers should start to pick them off. I already see a couple of them falling down, quite a few axemen, but they are falling very quickly, so can't complain too much. The archers are doing a bang up job knocking them out. I am worried some of these moon men might get away before they get killed. So hopefully our archers are able to kill them. I see one guy. So let's grab this swordsman and send him. Oh, nope. I think our archers got everyone. So did we survive the second night? Yes, we did. All right, go team. So let's find out where this next attack is coming from. And it's going to be down there. So we will take our swordsman. And we're going to put them by the door. To protect that and then we'll take our archers and start moving our archers over here as well since that other house is now built and we should start to have plenty of people uh, i think we'll have four three or four people around the campfire we can get people in the fishing hut how are we doing on money we'll probably put one more in the sunstone workshop so let's make sure we do that so we start to produce plenty of money and then how are we doing on food 30 food a minute um, let's train up an archer. How do I want to do this? Actually, no, let's get someone in the fishing hut. All right, so we are at nine out of nine. How much food are we producing? Let's wait for this guy to get to the fishing hut. All right, 70 food a minute. Let's put down another house. And we can just plop this down right here. Rotate that door. Um, actually, no, I want to get some walls up. This next attack might be a bigger attack. So let's put down military, wooden walls, and we're going to put a wooden wall there, and we need 450 woods. So hopefully we have enough wood for this next one to kind of block this, and that will provide us with plenty of protection. I don't know why our swordsmen are up here. They shouldn't be. So let's get our swordsmen and put them down there. Where's the, um, the archers are still up there. All right, there's our five swordsmen. They should be down here. And let's grab our five archers. Good thing we caught this before the attack and move our archers over there. And there they go, fantastic. All right, so they are putting that wall up. We're at 312 wood. Almost to the 450 we need. We could put a fence, but again, I'm going to be tearing down the fence to put up a wall eventually. And eventually we'll be upgrading this to stone. We should probably think about capturing this and start harvesting some stone soon. Just to make sure we have nice and strong walls for the kingdom. 360, what do we need? 450, so we are almost there. Almost there indeed. Where's all my swordsmen at? Alright, let's get the five swordsmen right here. Two, three, four, okay. So they are all there. 
And now we will put them back in front of the door to protect the archers that are hanging out up there. Let's go ahead and while we're waiting for the wood, we can train up an archer. By the time he trains, we'll be able to spawn someone else that can come in and build. It will be nice once we get going here, we'll make sure we have a builder's guild so two people are always available to build instead of this balancing act of let's make sure we have enough people that can be turned into archers or be, you know, be out building. So that we need to keep an eye on. All right, this guy is trained. We will get him up here and let's plop him down right there. Perfect. So he will start his little walk up there and we should have someone spawning here any second. And there they are. We've got the right amount of wood. So let's go to military and wood wall and plop a wood wall down there. So he will go and build that for us. Fantastic. So it looks like what we'll need to do is capture this tile and then we'll have to wall off here, here, and here to kind of protect the rest of our flank or it's gonna be wall off here. Oop, he is getting attacked by those wolves. Um, that's not good. Let's go ahead and select our archers and they can start shooting at the wolves here. Give our uh, workers some nice protection. I'm not gonna destroy the den but at least let's knock out the wolves so they can't come and attack our people. They will spawn more wolves here, but I think we should have enough time in between. Let's go ahead and attack this wolf. Look at those arrows just fly and knock those people out. Oop, that was placed the wrong way, but no worry, we'll be able to flip that here in a few seconds. Maybe that's why he was on the wrong side of the wall, because I put that on the wrong way. Minute and 50 seconds until the next attack. Um, down below in the comments, let me know if you have lost a castle in a very embarrassing way, just like I did on that last episode where the walls weren't complete, and I kind of let our soldiers walk one by one into the enemy, and the enemy just picked them off and killed them all very slowly and very embarrassingly. If not, if you haven't lost a castle in any strange way. Let me know um, what your longest castle is. Let me flip this wall here. Or excuse me, how long your castle has been around or what your longest day count is. You know, I'd like to try and make it to 100 days maybe? I don't know. We'll see how long we can take it. I would love to kind of fortify this entire hill and maybe have like, you know, fortify over here or something on some different hills. We'll see how we uh, go or how far along we can get. The other thing that'll be nice when we get the stone down here is we can start to upgrade some of these buildings. As you can see, we can add one more worker if we have 30 stone. I don't think we can, oh, we can upgrade that. We can upgrade the fisherman hut, things like that. Looks like this already got three benches out there. That's interesting. And this guy's just, they're sitting down here. They're not sitting up on the benches, whatever. Whatever floats their boat. All right, so we are 30 seconds out from the next attack. Just for funsies, let's see if we can train up another archer. He might not make it. I don't know if he has enough time to train in that 30 seconds. If not, no big deal. All right, so let's get these swordsmen right in front of the door here so they can protect our five archers. Um, so he's training. That is good. I think, is there one kind of hidden here somewhere? I thought I trained up another archer. 12. Uh, um, so we'll bring him up. That says five. Is he stuck in the tower? It says there's one archer already in here. So let's re-click it this way so they reorganize. All right, so now there's six archers up there plus this guy is coming up. So we should be able to do a fair amount of damage. Looks like we've got some moon axemen, or excuse me, moon shieldmen and moon knights. So they um, mean business and they will have to pass by our archers and through the wolves. So I think the wolves are going to help us out quite a bit here. And they can't just come right up here because of our walls. Okay, do we have our seven archers? Our seven archers are up there. And our wolves are giving us a nice little hand. And here comes Papa Wolf, the giant wolf, to help finish everything off. Looks like there's just a few of the axemen or shieldmen left. And down they go. And one more. And I'm going to claim credit. Oh, wait, one more hidden in the tree. Is that everyone? All right, I think that is everyone. Our archers have finished everyone off. And with that, I think we will finish this video. Thank you so much for coming out and watching as we start our brand new castle here in Be Castled. 
Uh, don't forget to like this video. Comment down below both on Be Castled itself, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and what you think of my videos. I am still looking for tons and tons of feedback because that is how I become a better content creator. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you're getting this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next Be Castled video.